Hello YouTubers, good morning. It's Melissa the M of the Emanation Bespoke Hairstyles. How are you today? Today's posting features detangling. So we're talking about shampooing, but it's much more to show you, right? I shampoo my hair, but before I shampoo my hair, I need it to be the process of detangling to start. Because I've got micro locks, little small sister locks, as you can see, and this is newly cleaned, shampooed hair. It's a little bit wet. Um, what I have to do when I wash my hair is to detangle it, to separate the locks because it's coming up to my retightening session. And so the growth, the amount of growth I have, uh, means that the afro-y bit fuses together. And so, so I don't end up having bigger locks, I have to separate it. So this posting would help you, sister locks wearer, you locks wearer, anyone with hair that's tangling. So even if you have permed hair, if you have straight hair, if you have mixed race hair, I think you would like this posting because this posting is to give you little tricks. What I personally do, you twist it and apply it to your uh, methodology of um, shampooing and it might help you with the detangling process. I detangle from wet. So if you're a person who detangles your hair from dry, this might not work for you. Right, before I shampoo my hair, I oil my hair thoroughly. And the next clip is going to show you how I do that. And also, for new sister locks um, wearers, so what I'm talking about is those locks who have not yet locked up, but you need to shampoo your hair. I'll have a clip as well to show you how to band and braid your hair. Um, and hopefully that helps you. When you see this clip, it'll show you that the plait, the little bra braided bit, you do it loosely. So, so you can reach for the base, reach for your scalp and wash your scalp before washing the actual braided bit. So that's what that clip is going to um, show. Also quickly, um, newbie sister locks um, wearers, you should have had been given your starter kit. Um, I can't open this starter kit. It's got bands and it's got the shampoo. Um, and I can't open it because when we give a client, it's sealed. But it's half a bottle of this. And then when that's finished, um, and we talk to you about how to mix it, and the next clip as well shows you how I mix my shampoo and water using sister locks. Or I could apply that to any of the other shampoos I'm using. I always mix it with water. So that will show you how much shampoo I put. I'm not a measurer, so you will see from your eyes how it all works. Um, and this is the next um, shampoo that you get, the Getting Started shampoo, after the, um, the starter kit has um, finished. And this is the next stage, and this is the Salon shampoo. And you only use that when your hair is properly locked. So you only use that when your hair is locked. So I'm talking about in my two years plus. Right. Clip to follow and enjoy the clip. Ah, well, Mono Safel SK, original, a picture ringer. Ada, lawyer, entertainment present, yeah, street laughter. Kekekekewa, on y va. Tous les mondes bien présentés, vos chansons, s'il vous plaît, voici votre SK Blitz, original, a picture ringer. Ada. Well, the base, focus on the base. The idea is to separate the locks. Now, take a little section and loosely 
braid so that there is space in the base. Loosely braid. And you're loosely braiding because you don't want to pull and too much of the lock, stretch it out and cause it to unravel. Plait it and then fold it like that, tucked in to itself and then band it. And that's one band bit. I do another one. That's that. So you can wash underneath. Once you've washed it, wash, you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Once you wash the base, then you wash there, squeeze, 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 and then you squeeze 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 so you don't disturb the locks and squeeze 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 so i want to quickly show you um today uh what my regime is going to be like using the sister locks shampoo um i've just got one of my random um <laughs> bottles um and um just one of my old bottles and i always talk about mixing um my uh, sorry my face is a bit shiny it's just because i've just done sh show demonstrated how to, how i oil my locks before um shampooing um and obviously the locks are in my face so there's quite a lot of oil residue on my face okay so um this is how much i would put in um to my bottle and you know i don't measure right so um i'm squeezing in i would say can you see I don't want to use a lot at all. So I, I'm going to bring the bottle close so you can see the Sister Lock shampoo going into the bottle. And for me, that is enough. So can you see, it's just a little at the base and for me, that is enough. Um, and the reason is because I like to mix my shampoo with water, I like to water it down. There's a little bit of residue, um, a little bit of spillage. So I've just um, put it onto my locks because I'm going to dilute it anyway. It doesn't matter to me. So um, that's the Sister Lock shampoo I'm using today. And I've just put a little, and that's all I'm going to use to wash my hair. And then I just top it up. Um, I'll just top it up to basically the amount that I feel is necessary. So, um, you know, I don't measure, right? So this, this really is for people who get it, that like literally I use my eyes. Um, can you see it's all mixed? So I am going to pour until I feel like, I would say it's a quarter or less than a, yeah, maybe a quarter, three fourths water and a quarter, um, sister lock shampoo so can you see how much i've watered it down and that's how i wash my hair today i water it right down just a little bit of shampoo and a lot of water a lot of water there and um i'll mix it and then i'll come back and show you my hair clean so can you see that's what i say i say put a little bit of the shampoo and a lot of water and that's how I've washed my hair when I've chosen to shampoo my hair. Um, and it's worked for me and my hair's always felt clean. So I'm sticking to that. Right, I'll be back. So you've seen how I've chosen to um, detangle my hair. Um, and what also happened was whilst my hair was wet, um, I didn't towel dry. I applied coconut oil through my hair whilst wet, before towel drying. Um, and literally the shower was running and I was oiling my hair. Um, and, and while I did that, I, I detangled. What I mean by detangling is I just checked. And I don't check each lock. 
Um, I just don't have the time to. But I know it works because my locks are all separated and I can put my hand, I can put my hand through my lock. So that works for me. So you might find this useful regardless of your hair type, whether it's locked, permed, mixed race hair, straight hair, Caucasian hair, you might find this technique works. And what I liked is the fact that my hair feels clean and already I don't need to oil my hair. I need to jump out of the shower and oil my hair immediately after towel drying. It's already oiled because it's been oiled before. I think people call that, people call that co-washing, I think. There's a name for it, but just take it out. Oiling your hair before you jump into um, getting your hair shampooed. I just oil my hair and start feeling and making sure it's kind of separated and then wash it and then oil it again while sweat and then shampooing. Hope that helps you um, detangle because this idea is to help you detangle your hair better. So just in case you didn't get that, oil, shampoo, oil, and then towel dry. Oil, shampoo, oil, and then towel dry to help you detangle. Thanks for watching this posting and take care of you. Bye. Original, Africa Ringo, Adam, Loya.